Okay, in, in a recent video I talked about Socrates who said that the unexamined life is not worth living. And in that video I spoke sort of about looking back on your life with 2020 vision. Now I don't actually think we ever actually get that, right? Um, you know, the memory is not completely reliable under the best of circumstances. And then when you add a toxin like alcohol regularly to the mix, then uh, it's even less reliable. But I think that once you do stop alcohol and you begin this journey of introspection, you do start to see what's happened in your life because you've been drinking alcohol, how your life has been affected, your actions, your thinking, your behaviors, your habits. And it's then that you get armed with an understanding about that you can do something about this, right? That it doesn't have to be that way. And it doesn't stop there. For us to truly live meaningful and fulfilling lives, we've got to take the time to think about ourselves, especially our habits and our behaviors, and to make the changes that are necessary in order to move us forward. So it's very easy to ignore what you do habitually. You know, habits are by nature things that we think about the least. You know, that's what they're designed to do. Right? Yeah, you do something habitually so you don't have to continuously think about it. You know, imagine if you were driving a car and you constantly had to think about what you're going to do next. Do I press the gas pedal now? How much gas do I give it? Um, for how long do I keep pressing the gas pedal? When do I lift it up? And then you have to think about the brake pedal. You know, how much do you press? When do you press it? Um, for how long? Um, now think about the clutch pedal. Uh, and then you've got the steering wheel, the mirrors, and that's only taking into account how to operate the various controls to get it to move, uh, to get it to turn, to get it to stop all those kind of things. Now, think about all that that you've actually got to learn um, driving on public roads. You know, distance, speed, lanes, traffic signs, signals, traffic cops, other vehicles, pedestrians, dogs, cats um, in the road rain, all that kind of stuff. So these are all things that are going to happen in your life. Now, when you're learning how to drive, you know, these are the things that you have to consciously think about, to think about intently. You know, thankfully, once you get used to driving, it sort of becomes second nature to us. And we can have conversations while we're driving. You know, I'll often drift off into something, thinking about something away on a tangent, um, and I'm brought back into the present by something that needs my attention now, but that's just the way it is, right? You know, the point is we use a natural ability to create habits, to put together patterns that are going to make all of this second nature. You know, when was the last time you were driving and you gave a second thought to pressing the brake pedal, right? Or how much you needed to press on the, the this the, the gas pedal or how much you had to turn the steering. It's something that you just do automatically, right? And um, when it's time to slow down, you slow down, right? When it's time to speed up, you do that. Well, this is the same process, similar process that you go through when you're stopping drinking alcohol, right? When you're breaking down the old alcohol habit. So let me change to talking about the future for a second. I think it's important to expand the years in your life, right? To get more years out of your life. But I think it's also important to plan on improving the quality of those years. I think that's just as important. You know, what's the point in living until you're 80 or 90 or beyond only to have a knackered out old body uh, and a mind that doesn't know its arse from its elbow, right? Now this is all gonna depend to a large extent on uh, the habits that we, we form, right? You know, habits are that invisible structure that directs how we live and in turn those habits are going to direct where we're going you know there's such powerful things when you think about it you know they affect the way we think our attitudes even down to your posture the way that you walk the way that you eat the way that you speak you know the words that you use are all habitual to a big extent now if we want to change our habits you first have to examine them to understand what makes them tick so to speak and we need to ask ourselves why do these behaviors happen you know what what's the purpose that they serve and what are the consequences that happens because of that especially that last bit what are the consequences 
that the key to eliminating the alcohol habit is to start small. I'm not talking about cutting back on a drink here or there, or uh, I'm not talking about cutting back at all, right? Um, unless it's a medical necessity in the beginning. I'm talking about stopping the alcohol flow altogether. And in the beginning, that's the only change that we're gonna make, right? Stop the flow, and then we'll do some work on the coping, just to cope with the new life without alcohol. And then only when you're comfortable with not drinking day to day, then we'll shift over to breaking down the actual habit itself and making sure that it doesn't come back. You know, if you try and change too much at once, it's likely that you're gonna get overwhelmed and we really don't want that to happen. You know, in terms of long-term habit change, we first focus on the one habit, right? Get rid of that one habit. And then we focus on the next habit and then on the next habit, right? So, you know, changing habits is never gonna be easy, right? It's just the fact. Um, it always takes time, it takes effort, but the rewards can be just great. Now, just to let you know, we're leaving here in a few weeks. Uh, we're heading back to Ireland to spend some time with Sean, my son, and Holly, my granddaughter. So we're gonna be swapping the Mediterranean here for the Atlantic. Really looking forward to it. I mean, I hate leaving places, but that's a good thing, you know. Um, anyway, there's a link in the description below for a free course that we've got if you wanna get started out on this journey. Take care, all the best, uh, onwards and upwards. Bye now.